What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So it has been a while since I've done one, but we are back into the swing of things. Just had to been doing some family things uh, recently and had a holiday and stuff like that. I'm actually going on another holiday tomorrow, but I want to get this video out for you guys and especially the ones who asked about how to do, uh, you know, for my yearly ranking video. So if you don't know, every single year I do at the start of the year, I do a video and show you what I'm doing or what I'm still doing. Uh, to how to how to rank websites and specifically um, affiliate websites that make money every single day. So this is actually a new account, my friend's account I've been working with. And this is actually an old screenshot we had. Uh, you can see down here, 2006, uh, sorry, $216. And this week we're currently on three, well nearly $400 um, from uh, search engine optimization traffic only. And I'm gonna show you the methods that we use in this video uh, and how we make commissions from ClickBank products every single day uh, by doing this. It's not as hard as you think. Um, it's not as technical as you think, but I will assume that you do have some search engine optimization experience or you at least know what search engine optimization is before you watch this video. Because uh, you, be, you might be like, what's search engine optimization? What's SEO? If you don't know what that is, I recommend going to do, do a Google search. But I'm going to go through what I do to rank these websites in Google and get money every single day. Now, the reason we've got these little squares here is because those days we had one sale and I would give away the product we're advertising if I showed that particular uh, price. And what we do, guys, is we go out and we rank for <clears throat> keywords like this. So we're, number, we're currently number one for this one, number five for this one, number nine. Number 11, these have changed a bit. This is about two weeks old, this one, because I went to do this video two weeks ago and then had some family things that came up, had to deal with those. Uh, and now we're doing the video now a couple of weeks later. Um, so these have changed quite a lot now, but what we do is essentially build backlinks to our websites and get them, to the, get them as far up as we can in Google. And we get commissions when people search for specific keywords and purchase things from our ClickBank sites. Okay, but we're gonna we're not gonna um, talk about making sites or anything like that. We're gonna specifically talk about what I do right now um, to rank websites in Google and what I've changed in the past year. And I have changed quite a bit because a lot has changed. Um, about six months ago, quite a lot of my sites got penalized from Google updates, so I've had to change things around. And now we're good. We're now now we're humming along beautifully. Uh, real nice and we've got some sites back in the top 10 and things like that so first of all what's really important right now is first of all quality um content with media so i'm talking about you know your articles where you have your affiliate uh, products or you're doing a blog post or anything like that it needs to be quality with images and video now google is loving this um you basically just need to make your site as best as the next one above you and you just keep going up um, and on-page SEO, kind of in the same category, is really important as well now. And what that means is using the right keywords in your tech, uh, in your content, um, you know, just having everything flow nicely. It can be read correctly. You have images, you have multi, uh, you have um, videos, even GIFs and things like that. And everything is just laid out nicely um, and looks good, feels good on your site, okay? Two very, very important things. Now, the next thing that's quite important, and I never used to ever worry about this, but now I do, and that's actually one of the reasons why this particular site is ranking really well for these particular keywords, is because click-through rate. The more people that click your site, the more signals you give Google that they like your site, um, and that also comes down to time on site. The more, the longer people stay on your website, the better. It gives Google signals, okay, these guys like the site. The more they click through your site to other articles, the better as well. So you have like links and things like that. And what I mean by that is you have links on your site linking to other articles. And when people click on those, it tells Google that they're interested in your site and continuing on to look through your site. And another very important thing, guys, is website speed. This is really critical now. Google is liking websites that are fast, uh, preferably under three seconds. Uh, most of mine are around about 2.6, 2, 2 to 2.6. You want your website to be fast now, this is really critical. And next, and is really important as well, well, all of these are quite important, natural looking anchor text. Uh, if you don't know what anchor texts are, go and Google that. Back in the day, we used to go out and pretty much rank by using an anchor text. I'll, I'll just quickly show you what an anchor text is. 
Um, oh, by the way, guys, fo follow me on Instagram. I just have my Instagram up here. Uh, Frank, it's uh, at Frank Chill. And I'm going to be starting to do competitions and things, putting out results of my e-commerce training um, and all that sort of stuff. So follow me there. Um, I'm going to be starting to get real active on Instagram real soon. You're going to see what I do, holidays I take, and all that good stuff. But um, this is an anchor text, guys, right here. And see, it links back to my blog. But you'll see, we'll talk about this more in a second. But you'll see that um, the anchor text is like quite natural, onlinedimes.com. It's, it's natural to Google. It's not like... Um, you know, this that article was about how to make money on YouTube. I don't use the anchor text how to make money on YouTube. I use my website to anchor text and that's a natural um, organic looking anchor text even though I created that anchor text or the person that I paid to created that anchor text. Okay, so natural looking anchor texts are really, really important and we'll talk about anchor text uh, more towards the end of this video, but that's really, really important. And then quality backlinks, we'll also talk about that and I don't do any more spam um, so what I what I also used to do is spam my web 2.0s, which we'll talk about in a second. I spam them with links to juice them up. I don't do that anymore either. So there's um, two ways to create a back a backlink, guys. And basically, you know, creating them or buying them, and that's against Google's terms and conditions. But we all do it. Um, Google can't police everything, and in fact, you know, they um, sometimes encourage people to create links even though you're not supposed to. But creating and buying links is perfectly fine, okay? You're not going to get harmed in the process. You're only really going to get harmed if you buy off low-quality vendors or you just use exact match anchor texts when you're building your backlinks. Or well, option two is getting them naturally. But the problem with option two is if you have an affiliate site where you have not much content and you have content that is not good to link to, like a lot of the SEO gurus will say, hey, Go and do outreach. Go and do this and that. Well, what if people and probably don't want to link to your affiliate blog? So it's very, very hard to get natural backlinks. There is a way though. We'll talk about it soon. But it's hard to get natural backlinks. So what we have to do is build these backlinks ourselves or pay someone to build them. And this is the best way to do it, guys. This is exactly how I do mine. It's very similar to how I did it in 2017. However, now I don't use any spam. And so if we, if we come to what's changed, what has changed since 2017 to 2018, I don't worry about the big updates. They're not a problem. If I get penalized, I just fix it. Um, Google is more is loving mobile more, mobile more. But the two things that I stopped doing was um, using keyword anchor text. I use more branded general anchor text now. And I stopped spamming my web 2.0s with spam. Those are the two critical things that changed for me. Everything else I haven't really messed with, haven't changed, and it still works uh, completely fine, basically, and everything's all good. I haven't had, I did get penalized on a couple of updates, but big updates generally don't really matter to me. The only reason I got penalized is because I was an idiot. Um, I used a lot of exact match anchor text on one of my sites, but I shouldn't have done that in the first place anyway. So what I use now, guys, and primarily, I pretty much just use these four things, and that's completely it, to get results like this, okay? To get ranked in Google and get results like this. Um, I use, so I use social signals. I purchase those online. You can purchase them from like Fiverr and things like that. I use Web 2.0s, and I'll show you the guy I purchased mine from, because it's just so much easier, because they're so cheap. Um, I use blog and forum, forum comments, but I do them properly. I'll show you in a second. And I use private blog networks. Well, I actually use one, my friends. Um, and I used to run my own private blog network, but I don't anymore because it takes a lot of time to run them. Okay. Now, um, let's go down the list a little bit here. And we'll, first, I want to talk about Web 2.0s. Um, first of all, if you, do, if you don't know what a Web 2.0 backlink is, guys, it's pretty much a site. So this one is a free WordPress website. It's completely free. And you go in there and you create some articles and some content and you link back to the article or the page or whatever that you're trying to rank in Google. And you do quite a few of these and this creates a backlink. You can find information on Google about this and all of that sort of good stuff. But that's what a um, Web 2.0 is. And we'll talk about them and I'll show you who I purchased my Web 2.0s from. But these are essentially like the links I use to just, you know, my everyday general links. Then I use private blog networks and blog comments and stuff like that a bit later on. Um, so 
Oh, that's a pop up there. One of my pop ups. It's working good. Um, and what what I also notice now is it's about making them look real. So back in last year, I used to build out like hundreds of Web 2.0s for my websites, and they worked. But now I can build like 20 or 30. And what I'll do is I'll make them look real. I'll build them out more. This is actually one of my older ones. Um, it's not that great. I, I mean, it looks fine and it works, but it's only got one article on it. Uh, two, I think, actually. But now what I'm doing is I'm putting new articles on these Web 2.0s every week and I'm building them up to like 20 articles and making the Web 2.0s look real, like real websites. I have social accounts going to them um, and I don't spam them anymore with junk links. Um, and actually what we'll do is we'll talk about that right now. So Web 2.0s still work, guys. And what I used to do is to use a thing called GSA and I would spam all of the, my Web 2.0s with GSA links and put the juice to these, this site here, my main site. The problem was, this is called link wheeling, um, tiered link building. The problem was when I got hit with my penalty, it was because of this stuff. Google started to pick it basically, so the Web 2.0 would add it, would work as a buffer, but Google picked all that stuff up and pretty much I got smashed because the Google could pick up all of this junk getting sent to these Web 2.0s and then getting sent to my main website and um, getting thrashed by Google. And just before we continue on, guys, um, if you want to know where to find Web 2.0s, um, you just go onto Google and you can find like a bunch of free ones. Web 2.0s are free blogs you can create for free and build a backlink back to your website. Okay, but I would recommend purchasing them because they're cheap. It's cheaper that way. It saves time. It's a time versus money thing. And we'll talk about that because I know someone that can do them for 40 bucks for 10. It's very, very, very cheap. Um, so yeah, I don't do this anymore. This is a no, no for me. I just don't do it. It doesn't work. It does not work anymore. Unless you like, I don't know, you might be able to get, get away, away with it or around it, but this does not work for me anymore, guys. Okay. Now, um, what I do do though is this, and it's a little bit different now. What I do is I build social accounts. So Facebook, Pinterest, I might build a little YouTube channel and just post a random video. I don't have to be in it. Just post a video with a link back to my Web 2.0. It can just be a video of a black screen. Doesn't matter. And I'll link back to these Web 2.0s. And then what, and, and that that gives um, kind of good signals. So not spam, nice good signals. It gives Google a signal that, okay, this this is the real um, Web 2.0, link to my, to my main site, all good. But then what I do is I build out other pages in my web 2.0s to make it look real. So I might have my main article pointing to my, um, my page I'm trying to rank. Then I might have another um, article and it links to Wikipedia pages, relevant Wikipedia pages, links to relevant YouTube videos. It's got a bunch of outbound links and it creates relevancy for the web 2.0s. So let's say we're in the fitness niche. We make this web 2.0 about fitness. And we link it to our fitness site there's a lot of relevancy there and that's what google really likes now is relevancy natural backlinks everything's been nice and natural and relevant okay so i build out my web 2.0s with different articles and let me just have a look here we might i think this one only has um two articles on it we'll have a look um so it's got one yeah so all you need to do is you don't need to like you don't need to do an article every time. You can do like two or three articles and then do two or three videos. You just post a video. As long as there's content on there, it's fresh if like once a month maybe, and it just feels and looks like a real site. This one should have more. Um, this is an old one. This is back before, back when I didn't do any building things out. I probably should update this. Um, but yeah, it's nice and simple. You don't need to have crazy, like this has spaces here. The spelling's not that great in this doesn't overall matter too much about that. So you don't need to get crazy perfect. And the article can only be, doesn't have to be long either, three, 400 words long if you like. So I still use Web 2.0s. They're still working very, very well for ranking websites in Google's, uh, Google, especially um, affiliate websites. Now, if you own a blog, a big blog or something, I'd recommend trying to do your backlinking the white hat way with outreach and stuff like that. But for affiliate sites, Web 2.0s are still working marvelously. Then we have blog comments and forum comments. This is supposed to have a forum here. 
Now, a lot of people, what they do is they, um, they think that they should just go and spam. When you do a blog comment, and even though these are no follow, they still add relevancy to your site and they do work. I've tested these over, over and over again. You want to bait the person. So, Hey, so this is my, um, my site here. And I was like, Hey, I love this article. Thanks. I'm thinking of doing this note. Notice you mentioned blah, blah. I uh, don't say much about it. What do you think? And this is a product I'm promoting. I keep reading reviews, but I can't make up my mind. I pretty much use a fake account and say, Hey, I found your, I found your relevant article and I go into So this one was about landing pages. I was reviewing a landing page creator. So I went to Google and put top landing page creators and I found a bunch of blogs that, that were affiliate blogs as well. So basically my competition and I'll go and ask them, Hey, what do you think about this article? They say this about the product. Do you agree? And that article that I say, do what do you think about? That's my article. And they approve the post and then I get a backlink from my competitors or my competition. Okay. And you can do that in any niche. Um, doesn't matter. And pretty much in any niche you want, you can go and bait people to um, accept your comments. Now it's not going to, not everyone's going to approve. I, I get about a, maybe a, a between 30 to 70 percent success rate. It depends on the niche that I'm in because some, if it's a real hardcore affiliate niche where it's just affiliate sites in that niche, uh, a lot of them are quite smart and they'll figure it out. But yeah, you just go to forums and blogs and you literally bait people in to accepting the blog comment by put your own link in there. Don't just go, hey, check out my blog or hey, check out my article. It's not going to work. So just read this, uh, pause the screen and you'll kind of see what I mean. Okay. And you bait people into accepting the blog comments and it's very, very easy to do. Now, private blog networks. Um, I'll just go over private blog networks where, real quick and then I'll show you um, who I purchased my stuff from and I'll, then we'll talk about anchor text. So private blog networks are basically networks that are hidden from spiders. So other backlink checkers and they're very powerful, powerful sites. However, they're very expensive to run and maintain. They take up a lot of time, so just purchase them. Seriously, just purchase them. It'll save you a lot of headaches. And this is who I use. So the kind of the process, guys, would be, um, let's just go for the process real quick. Where, where, where are we at? The process will be to find some social signals, send those to your site, then do some web 2.0s, and, and while those are indexing, do blog forum comments. And if you're still not ranking, or you're not on the front page or the second page, then go and look at do private blog network links. Those are the strongest. That's kind of the process that I do. Um, and so this is who I purchased from guys. Um, I purchased all of my blog, um, PBN blog things. And this is actually him here. Hatreds PBN posts, as you can see, I've purchased off him. I haven't purchased any for a while because I haven't needed to. Um, but I purchased a lot in 2017. Look at all the stuff I've purchased. Um, and this is his website here, hatred.io. And he has a stupid amount of results because his stuff just works. Where's the results? Um, oh, take me here. He has a ridiculous amount of results. His stuff works. It's just incredible. Um, his, his posts just work. They'll get you ranked. Obviously, a disclaimer, depending on your site, depending on your keywords, depending on how you've structured things. He is pretty much the best on the planet and he cares. I only purchase from the best. This is not affiliate, no affiliate links here, nothing like that. I'm just simply recommending the people that I personally use or the person to purchase my private blog network links on. Now, it's a little bit expensive. I mean, it's not expensive to me because, um, you know, these things are very valuable. Might be a little bit expensive to some people, but honestly, you pay for quality. Okay. Uh, he tests everything for toxic, uh, for toxic links, toxic everything. He makes sure these are very safe for your site. And second, guys, I purchased my Web 2.0s off a guy called Niche Exposure on Conquer.io. And I think he has his own website um, somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, somewhere. And as you can see, I've purchased a lot off this person. Pages and pages and pages of Web 2.0s. And I've actually recommended this service so many times. That he's put my name in the top of the um in the title um and what you do guys is you just it's 40 is it 40 bucks for 10 i think um was that 40 bucks for five let me just let's have a look here um 
Yeah, so it's 40 bucks for 10. It's literally so cheap. And they do that. He does the article. He does everything. You just give him um, the, key the keywords you want to use. And we'll talk about anchors in a second. I recommend not using your keywords and using general keywords. Um, but yeah, this is how this is who I use for my Web 2.0 guy. And I'll leave all these links below. Once again, these are not, aff uh, not affiliate links. These are legitimate people that I use for my link building. Now, anchor text I'm using, guys, this is really, really important. This is, let me just get a drink here because we're going to get real deep. We're going to get real, real deep. This is where most people screw up. They will go and purchase links and say, hey, my my keyword is um, how to play basketball. And then what happens is that backlink person will go and use that backlink so many times if they're not experienced and they'll completely screw your site up. So when, when you purchase backlinks, you want to do things like, you want to say, hey, these are my anchor text URLs. So things like um, mysite.com forward slash your page or mysite.com homepage. You also want to use anchor text like click here, this website, reading this article, more info. If you go online and Google list of general keywords, you can find a huge list of thousands and thousands of words. Then there's also branding. So my site, my site, and then, you know, capital space, my site as well. So that will be your branding. So for example, my e-commerce course is called Ecom Elites. So I'll do Ecom Elites, uh, Ecom Space Elites, and capital space, Ecom Elites. And I'll do a lot of branding anchor text. And then uh, next, I sometimes, well, I do keyword variations. And what that means is I will basically go and get my keyword that I'm trying to rank for, and we think we just, um, we just picked one here before. We just um, get one. Elite swing mechanics, I think. Oh, hang on. Complete hitter is a baseball um, product. Let's say we want to go and rank for that. You can use a keyword tool called Uber Suggest by Neil Patel. You put in your keyword phrase. Um, and it's going to bring up a bunch of keywords. You can use some of them for your anchor ticks. And it, it, first of all, you can find keywords. And second of all, you can find keywords to use as your anchor text. Um, but I would recommend do not, if you're trying to rank for complete hitter or complete hitter review or something, do not, do not use this consistently for your anchor text. That's really going to kill you. So things like, you know, we might do baseball hitting or best baseball hitters. So like a, a different variation to complete hitter and it's got all these random keywords but i would recommend not doing this a lot okay your, your best bet is to do a, a, a lot of url anchor text a lot of general and a lot of branding basically these three and then you do a small small percentage of keyword variations and do not repeat them and i don't use exact match keywords so if i'm trying to rank for how to make money on youtube i will never um go and link back to my website like this as an anchor text back to my website i will never do that because that's what's killed my sites in the past and that's what's going to kill your sites moving forward that's one of the biggest things that changed from 2017 to 2018. it's actually been changing every year since way back but now it's really really changed heavily and we're not even using any um keywords exact match keywords in our anchor text anymore in fact we're using a lot of random stuff um, and it seems to work really, really well. Um, now, that's pretty much all that, okay? Another thing is I don't buy Fiverr links anymore. I used to buy Fiverr backlinks to kind of um, get my site prepped for the bigger backlinks. Just cheap Fiverr backlinks, manually created, not with software. They don't really harm your site, but they're a waste of money now. I just don't use those anymore, okay? No Fiverr links. Now, getting natural backlinks. There is a way... Um, what I would recommend you do if you have an affiliate website and it's hard, you find it hard to get backlinks from people naturally is to create some kick-ass content, okay? Some really good content. And to do that, you want to go to a website called BuzzSumo and put in some niches, uh, some niches and find articles that um, have lots and lots of shares. And then what you want to do is you want to basically do a better version of that article, a way better version, longer, more images, more videos, more GIFs, make it really badass, like so badass that people are going to want to link to it, okay? 
then what you do is you you um, you link that to your that should say um, website sorry not web 2.0s you link that to your website or your article and what's going to happen is when you get links to that that page and I'll tell you how to get links in a second all of the backlink juice is going to flow to your article your other articles so I get a lot of people contact me saying hey Franklin I don't know how to get backlinks to my affiliate websites and I get it it's hard it sucks I find it hard so you want to create some really awesome content and get people to backlink to that and then filter the backlink juice through to your other articles via anchor text and it'll push you up the ranks now how do you get people to share the content well the best thing about finding um, getting articles that have already popular people have already shared them you just take this particular article here okay and we know that it's been shared lots 23,000 um, it's got zero links though Oh, we need to upgrade that sorry 23,000 um, Facebook engagement and shares and things like that so I'm gonna go to what we call a hrefs a backlink checker or any backlink checker you have and put that in there and then what I'm gonna do guys is I'm going to export the backlinks and I'm gonna find and I'm or actually referring domains I'm gonna export the referring domains and then I'm gonna contact those domains and say hey I noticed you shared this article we did a similar version feel free to share it or I'm gonna pay a virtual assistant to do that for me if you do that a few times guys with a few articles you're gonna get a ton of natural backlinks to your site over time no one said this stuff was easy it does take time but it is really good to have natural backlinks coming in and you basically basically just use your awesome content as a buffer page to feed link juice through to the rest of your website all right and that's really it now one other thing I do guys is I actually um, go and I always analyze the top 10 this is so critical and I'll tell you why um, let's say we want to um, let's go baseball drills let's say I want to rank for baseball drills for example I'm gonna open the top 10 um, for a very various re for, for a particular reason I will just do the first three number one I want to see what their sites look like because I have to do my site better than this and more quality content because that's what Google wants so that's number one thing see what kind of content you're up against this one not so much but I got a lot of good soloing going here number one what kind of content are you up to uh, are you up against number two copy these links and put them into these checkers and although these won't show private blog network links put them into these checkers well, number one you can see how many kind of backlinks they got there's actually a lot of stuff you can do here first of all this page has barely any backlinks so that's a good thing and the backlinks that they do have we can export them and see if we can try and get the same type of backlinks in them second we can go into organic keywords on ahrefs and we can see all of the other keywords their sites ranking for or on the top five or top ten so it gives us another massive um, cache of or archive of keywords that we can go and rank for and put spring put these into our articles and things like that so we've got basketball drills basketball practice drills youth practice drills basketball defense drills basketball training drills basketball tr team drills the list goes on and the thing is if these guys are ranking for these keywords with little to no backlinks there's a pretty good chance that you're going to as well okay so we'll actually do one more just so you can kind of see hopefully we can get one with a few backlinks so you can see what kind of backlinks they have if you can make your site better than the ones above you you'll sl gradually get ahead of them um, more links better quality quality links this one here they are ranking for or uh, 500 organic keywords they have 43 referring domains so you can go and see who is linking to them I'm just trying to find some of some web 2.0s and then you can kind of see an example of um, so here's a web 2.0 which is what we talked about they have created one I can go to the site and it should be linking back to their article um, which it probably is there's a whole bunch of sites here okay so they've basically created a web 2.0 put a thing called baseball links and they've got a whole bunch of links so that could be a legit site but they're using a free thing anyway 
Um, but yeah, you'll go through some sites and you'll see a bunch of hundreds of Web 2.0s. So that's pretty much it for the site, guys. Uh, sorry for this video. Um, nothing, nothing has changed dramatically, but well, it kind of has. But what you want to worry about with your with your um, ranking affiliate websites is quality content is really important. Co cookie cutter skeleton content isn't really doing it anymore. Great on-page search engine optimization, click-through rates, time on site, and site speed are really, really important now. And probably the most important of all is natural looking anchor text, quality backlinks, and no spamming the your backlinks or your site. And um, on top of that, no spamming your keywords in anchor text. Like don't go and purchase backlinks and go, hey, my keyword is how to make money online. They're just going to go and use that as an anchor text, spam it and completely kill your site. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, if you don't understand search engine optimization, go and have a Google and things like that. But this is this is honestly exactly what I'm doing to rank my sites right now. My affiliate sites right now. This one's my friend's affiliate site that we're working on to go and get, you know, 400 bucks a week, 200 bucks a week. And we literally just started, guys. Look, um, this was like the first week we started making good money. 96 bucks. This was just before Christmas, was it? Well, that's the week of Christmas. Um, 450, 485. We went down a bit because it's just after Christmas. Um, well, 190 not, isn't too bad. And now we're back up to nearly 400 bucks a week again. So, and this is off, guys. This is off. Literally, just purchasing for this site only. We have per I've purchased. Um, what have I purchased? Sorry, I purchased some social signals. I think that was like eight bucks. I purchased some Web 2.0s. Um, I did two lots of. 40 so that was 80 sorry that was 80 blog comments were free i did them myself and then i got some private blog network links those were 200. so i've spent around about 300 bucks right 300 bucks on this particular site and we've we've we made that back easy already um just off you know just doing that that's all we did now I can't tell you how many backlinks you're going to need or what type of backlinks. It's really up to you. Um, but yeah, for you guys that were asking what we're doing now, this is exactly what we're doing for um, affiliate websites. If you've got a, a legit blog going, um, this stuff does work, but you're probably better to do manual outreach and white hat SEO. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link below and I'll leave other links below. Facebook, my course, all that other stuff and I'll put a link for my course on the screen for my Shopify course. Also, if you're into Facebook ads, that will be very good for you as well because we have lots of Facebook ad training in that um, course. And I'll see you guys in the next video.